guys, my name is Cece, and today, um, it's kind of windy up there, so I hope you can hear me well. Oh my god. Um, today's video is a bit untraditional, because Premiere Pro stopped working, and I have no other option. Oh my god, the sunshine, like, burns my eyes. <laughs> um, I have no other option but to record videos this way. Which kind of sucks on one hand, but on the other hand, I think it's pretty cool. And it's more natural and maybe even like more authentic, we'll see. Um, I'm currently in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> um, except for the cables, of course. It's kind of annoying that there's this beautiful nature and then you can see the cables everywhere, like literally. But that's not the point. Uh, the reason I'm here is essentially because I was feeling unwell and I thought to myself that, like, uh, mentally unwell because I got into a fight with my mom for a little bit and that's what I want to talk about because I kind of think it was stupid and I want you to approach fights in a different way, not the way I did. Is this better? I don't think so. Is this better? Oh my god, the lightning's so annoying. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, so I just want you to understand um, fights better <laughs> and stuff. And how to really not be annoyed by getting in fights with someone. Because that's what I struggled with a lot. Like, um, I thought it was unnatural to get in fights with people but really what life is about is just getting better at communicating with others um also this video is completely unscripted so it's like i went for a walk and on this walk i thought about this idea that i could share this with you guys so if you like these unscripted videos give it a thumbs up and so that i know i should create more of them but back to the topic, right. So we got into a fight, a little stupid fight. Like I cleaned up the kitchen when I was at home because I study far from home and I was there during the summer and now this weekend, whatever. Um, but to be honest, I really consider my home more like the town where I study, which is about 300 kilometers far from my home. And every time I go home, I have to travel for about seven hours. Oh my God, battery slow. <laughs> we gotta get this uh, um, real fast done so it's it's far <laughs> so yeah and I forgot what I wanted this oh right um, so I cleaned up the kitchen but it's really like my mom's kitchen because I don't really live there anymore you know but I thought it would make her happy and instead she was looking for everything everywhere like she couldn't find things which I didn't consider when I was cleaning it um, like more like organizing not cleaning but like organizing things and you know i thought it would be more handy if i put some things to the other place and stuff which was really stupid because i don't live there and it's my mom's kitchen but whatever i just wanted to make her happy and she wasn't really excited about it so um she's calling me frequently about <laughs> where things are and so uh she told me that i should have never done that that she was very angry with my idea of organizing everything in our house when I don't live there anymore. But you know, I'm this kind of organized person and I'm not saying my mom's not, but sometimes I feel like I have better ideas for organizing, but my mom doesn't really think that, so maybe it's just my opinion, whatever. You know, this family stuff, um, it's just a stupid little fight, right? So, um, yeah. <laughs> and I was really sad about it like when we ended the call I was really sad and I was thinking about how I should have not done that and there are people walking so it's kind of like nervous I'm nervous because I'm talking here to my phone and I feel awkward <laughs> but it's just what people who record on YouTube do I guess Right, so I was sad and I was thinking about it a lot and that's why I went out because I felt like um, a disappointment <laughs> even though my mom didn't mean it that way but like I felt like I've worked really hard on the kitchen and stuff 
and I felt really sad, if that makes any sense. So I went for a walk and I was thinking and then my mom calls me and she says, look, I know, oh my god, wait, I just got a random call. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, like I've never, li literally, I know YouTubers mostly start um, editing on their phones, but I've never done that in my life, like I'm a filmmaker, I've always used Premiere Pro, I began using Movie Maker when I was about 10 years or so, and I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this, so I hope this video is not too trash to publish. Like, I was genuinely wondering whether I should post a video this trash. Because, you know, I'm used to having a microphone and a camera in front of me. And then just everything is perfect. And the, the what do you call this? Like, the thing you see is perfect. Um, yeah, but back to the point. So, my mom called me and she said, hey, I, I know you work really hard and, and I appreciate it. But, like, I can't find anything in this kitchen. And so basically we, we like talked it through and it's all right now. It was, I just wanted to say that sometimes we get sad, overly sad for no reason. Like for uh, stupid reasons. Like of course there are gonna be misunderstandings between you and other people. But, oh there's this really cute bug I wanna show you, but I'm not sure if I can, it's a little red bug. <laughs> Never mind. Um, you know, there are ha happenings between people and you're most likely going to be misunderstood. And so you have to learn to overcome it. And to sort of, like, learn to feel the emotions at, like, oh my god, I'm so bad at explaining, but like, um, wait, I will think about how I'm gonna say it and then I'll come back. <laughs> you have to learn how to give it, how to give a situation when being misunderstood appropriate time and appropriate amount of emotions you're gonna feel. Because you cannot feel bad for stooping kitchen organizing for three days, right? That would be like, why? Why would you do that? Dude, the, the lightning's so annoying. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> oh, I've never shot a video outside and now I'm like... Having struggles here. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And I'm thinking if I actually like recorded a video in the past to help you sort of... Like if I have created a video in the past on this topic, like how to give the appropriate amount of time and emotions and sort of feelings and misunderstandings like how to not get stressed way too much about these kind of situations because you know these things are i think it's pretty much what happens every single day like you argue with someone or you misunderstood someone misunderstand someone I think it happens every single day and you cannot get stressed by it way too much. Like, I'm always stressing out so much for no reason. And I'm working on it, but like, that's what I wanted to say. You have to find the way to get through it. For example, what really helps me is writing a journal. Um, before I went out, I... I wrote in my journal the things that were bothering me and also the things I was like I want to like the things I want to achieve and also the things that bother me right and every time I write in that journal I feel like my English is getting broken but I will I'll just finish the sentence <laughs> um, every time I write in that journal I just feel like everything that was here like holding me in my chest like this burden in my chest gets sort of out of my chest and I don't have to think about it again and I that's why I think journaling is great not only for like finding a purpose what I do with journaling is also that I write down what I like to like 
what would the best version of me look like? And also, what habits does that person have and stuff, right? So that really helps me when I'm trying to figure out what I should include in my daily routine or something. Because then I see that I want to become the fitness woman who goes to the gym every single day. And that means I need to include the gym in my daily schedule. <sighs> and all that stuff. And also, um, another great thing, as you're probably... <laughs> Um, as you've probably noticed already, is that it really helps me to go out and just clear my mind by going out. This lightning's so stupid. Oh my god. I feel like us human beings have gotten so used to the indoor lightning that I just don't know how to work with the outdoor lightning. It's probably because I'm a filmmaker and I'm used to work with the indoor lightning all the time, like literally. Not many filmmakers use in their films the outdoor lightning. Even though I really appreciate it and I think it's a very hard thing to do. Like if you know the film uh, The Revenant, um, I believe they've only used the outdoor lightning, which must have been super hard considering where it's been shot like, uh, you know, the winter weather and stuff, I think, or at least in our country, or maybe I'm lying right now, but like, <laughs> at least in our country, it's like very hard to shoot outdoors during winter because um, the days are super short and stuff. Why am I talking about films when I just wanted to talk about... Oh my god, I'm just not gonna comment on that. Um, I think it's getting kind of random here, so I'll just end it right there. But you get the point, right? So it was really nice to talk to you. Mm. I should probably get going, cause... Cause I'm talking too much. <laughs> and I can't edit this, so like, everything I say in this video stays in the video. And that's kind of scary, so I should probably quit. But if you like these type of videos, types of videos, uh, just give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Um, I hope I will solve these Premiere Pro problems soon. So that I can deliver to you some more quality content. But at the same time, I've been thinking that this is a more authentic way, sort of, um, to record videos. So maybe I'll keep doing it. Um, yeah, you can also write down your opinion in the comment section and leave a chicken emoji so that I know you watched this far. Anyways, I really gotta go because I'm talking for way too long. Have a beautiful day and bye!